Hey, I'm Veronica Mosshead with 5-Minute Bookkeeping, and I am continuing my series showing you how I diagnose my client's books. I do this uh, before I take on a cleanup so that I can know exactly what's wrong with my client's books. I have done several videos already, so make sure that you look for that uh, playlist in my YouTube channel. Today, I'm showing you how I diagnose the balance sheet and specifically the uh, liabilities and equity section of the balance sheet. So let's go ahead and get started. Then moving on to liabilities, here's another issue. We have uh, a negative accounts payable balance. So same as I did before for accounts receivable, I will also look at the accounts payable aging summary. And as you can see here, again, we have several old um, credit balances and in particular, this very big balance. So I'll go ahead and click and see what's there. And it looks like we have a bill payment that is not applied to a vendor bill. Perhaps the vendor bill got entered at some point and then got deleted, but, um, here we have to review and, and see what happened, uh, see if this is even a valid transaction. And if it is, then um, find what happened to the vendor bill. Maybe it's entered under the wrong vendor name. Okay, then for credit cards, we have negative credit card balance. Um, these balances are reconciled. So this would fall under the review that I do for when I review the bank balances and the credit card balances. Um, that's in a separate video. Next, we have payroll liabilities. So we have some balances in payroll liabilities as well as federal income taxes payable. These uh, accounts tend to accumulate a lot of old transactions and stale transactions. And typically it's because the clients don't know how to record payroll correctly, or perhaps they used to do their own internal payroll, they didn't enter the payroll correctly, and then I went to a third party provider where maybe they don't have any more payroll liabilities to record. So then we need to review these and see if there are any old transactions and clean them up accordingly. So I'll go ahead and just click on this just to see what's in that account. So it looks like we have, um, we had a, a balanced carry over a payment to the internal revenue service that zeroed out the balance. So that would be correct. But then we have some checks to the IRS for um, payments to the IRS, but we don't have any liabilities being recorded to this account. So again, that has to be reviewed, has to get cleaned up. We'll go back to the balance sheet report. And next we have um, under long-term liabilities, a couple of loans, so a bank loan and, and equipment loan. And what we see normally here is that the interest expense is not uh, re being re reflected correctly. So let's go ahead and click on bank loan. Yeah, so definite sign that um, interest is not being recorded correctly on this loan is that the full amount of the loan payment is recorded um, against the loan. Typically, you would see a portion of that amount being recorded to principal or to this, to the bank loan account, to the principal balance, and then another portion being recorded to interest expense. So we can see that this is probably not being recorded correctly. And also what you would do at the end of each month and, the, and certainly at the end of the year is to reconcile the, the, the uh, loan balance against some sort of loan statement from the bank to make sure that the balance is correct. So this would need to be reconciled and adjusted. Okay, moving on to equity. We have a balance and opening balance equity. Um, a lot of QuickBooks files do have a balance and opening balance equity, and it's usually from accounts um, being set up in the past. Normally then we don't uh, want to see any more additions to the opening balance equity account. So let's see what we have in this account. Okay, so we do have a carry forward balance, but then we have several checks and looks like they are payments to the owner. So their owner draws, so they are recorded to the wrong account. And it looks like we have some journal entries recording some opening balances and those we need to investigate make sure we did that correctly. And perhaps if they were done correctly, then they need to be recorded to uh, retained earnings to, 
to close these out to retain the earnings. But it depends on, on the nature of the transaction and how you would adjust it. Go back to the report summary. And we have the owner's draw account. And that should have just the draws and distributions that the owner or shareholder took out of the company. And we can see that here. And there's a couple of additional payments that we would need to make sure that they are correctly recorded. If this content is helping you, make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can get all of my latest videos. I'm Veronica Wasik with 5-Minute Bookkeeping.